So, hello, hello. Let me get uh, my seating sorted real quick. My headset adjusted. Let me also check that I didn't. Well, that's weird, but I think I know what's up there. Yes. Can I get that up, please? Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, I should have looked at this just to make sure I didn't fuck anything up. Okay, that looks like it's recording. Um, okay. Start listening. Resume listening. It's just voice attack. Um, that's a little loud, isn't it? So I fiddled with the audio settings, which means I need to lower the volume of basically everything. Anyway, we also need to go in here. And I think that's it, right? Yes, save. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Said Mark. Mark said. Welcome back to more Otter Wild. So, last time uh, we did Dark Bramble and we visited the depths of Giant Deep. The Giant Depths, basically. Wait. This way. Um, I fucking hate Dark Bramble. We got eaten by a whole school of anglerfish. <laughs> um, but I fear we need to go back there because we need to explore the Nome Vessel. But, as I see this thing up there, I've also not been to the Quantum Moon and I think I know how to get there. And I haven't been to uh, the Ash Twin Project yet. And I do not know how to get there, but I guess we're going to find out today, because those are the three things that I want to do. The Corner Moon, Ash Twin Project, and then the Vessel. And I guess at that point we should kind of be done with the game too. But we'll see. Let's see if I forgot anything. Oh yeah, this thingy here. That's something we're going to have to do probably before we go back to the Dark Bramble, right? Because I feel like the vessel will be the final stage of the game. So this, 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 and this side story part, I guess. I don't think it will be important for the um, for getting to the end, but it's all kind of. I don't know, it intrigues me, I guess. So let's go in here. Let's look at this. Just the quantum moon. Giant steep. But the problem is, as soon as I look away, it's not going to be there anymore. So we need this. Now we need to find the quantum moon. Oh, Sun Station too. Holy shit. Oh, I had a hunch for the Sun Station. Let's do that real quick. Um, need to go on to this one. Can I? Hello? Can I not log on to the bloody thingy? Why can I not log on? Um, okay. Because this? Oh, don't tell me I couldn't log on. Oh god, okay. Apparently that's a yes. Good to know. So my hunch is... I couldn't go into the sun tower, right? Because... Um... 
of those annoying tricky bushes. But hear me out. What if I go there early enough that bushes are covered in sand? It might work, right? Wait, that's a pole. Yeah, that's a pole tower. That's that's not that's not quite right. Um, I'm not quite sure where the sun tower is right now. That's why I'm kind of just cruising around here. Waiting for some kind of power to pop up so I can orient myself. I'm, st I'm still feeling cheated that I couldn't land on the thing manually. Or rather, I could kind of land, but then I couldn't get a grip on it and then and, and crashed basically. It fell off again. That was underwhelming. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Wait a second. Where's the mute button? Oh, sorry, that was a coughing fit and a half. <coughs> Apparently it's still not done. So this is the tan Sun Tower. Tan Sour? Yes, that's the Sun Tower. So... Where's the giant vacuum? That was the Quantum Moon, by the way. I'm so not going to find it. And I actually want to go there. Ah, oh, there's the wrong door, I think. So, on, yeah. I need to go in on this end. Wrong. My suit is on. Not that I ever forget that. Like, ever. Right? I never forget my spacesuit. That would be dumb. Imagine forgetting to put on your spacesuit before you go out into space. Interesting. The quantum moon stayed, even though it was behind that um, ember twin. So technically, I could see it, right? I mean, also practically. So, let's see. Let me in. Ow. Ow. Okay, so let's say, um... Basically, that works. Okay. I just had some, um, how would you call that? Execution problems, I guess. But the idea was right. Is there anything else on here but the teleporter? No. So now we wait for the sun to come up, right? That's basically it. I wanted to make this smaller, I remember, but I didn't. Grab. Guess I do that in the break. So since this is the sun tower, it should not teleport me anywhere else. Whoa! That was disorienting. I have uh, experienced that in quite a long time. This is also quite disorienting right now. So on here, can I like? Whoa! That was worse than I remembered it. Whoop. Okay, so that's kind of an L-shaped thingy. No, not this. Warning, opens emergency door. Um, six minutes, 55 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station, whole integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. And the time is ticking down. 
281,042 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep. Um, that was a while ago, just saying. Um, do I want to do this? Yes. I'm generally scared. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The literal only door is over there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not going just great. Fuck me. Well, let's go there. Wait, this doesn't have an autopilot. So, okay, I should go there. And the reason is quite simple. So I don't have to do this. Because that is something I was told last stream. That I should have unlocked the option to meditate and reset the cycle. When talking to, um... Gabo? Gabo? Whatever. The guy on Giant Steep. Garo? I can't remember names for shit. <laughs> Wake up. Those are my hands. There are many like it, but these ones are mine. Oop. So of course I didn't want not to learn anything new at all. It makes sense because I didn't do anything. There's a quantum moon, but it won't be there when I uh, go there. If it is there, I will um, seize the opportunity. Hmm. Oh, 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 Can I... Can I change this to... I can do this, right? I just need to look at that picture. And I should be able to land. Right? Question mark? Yes! Fuck you, Quantum Moon! Okay. Um, guess we're doing Quantum Moon first. So I'm just going to assume this is... because we are currently orbiting giant steep, right? Does that make sense? I have no idea if that makes sense. But that's my current working theory. Um, that's a stone. And I can't go in there, okay. Can I do something else here. I'm assuming that this is all quantum. Yeah. Oh, what is this? No, that is interesting. Oh, I'm walking on the... Um, the wall. Well, technically, it's it's the the uh, bottom, the the floor of the spacecraft, right? And here, after watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the corner moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. It will make the remainder of the journey on foot. I don't know why the corner moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown things, and now, though, I understand they bear no ill will the universe is, and we are. I am ready. 
I'm worth noting that we're currently not at the north, uh, at the south pole. I do not want to actually recall that ship, right? Also, unidentified signal. Can I get my Scopey boy, please? Wait, that's a... Oh, I'm assuming I just missed those on the other things. Because, um... Quite obviously, they need a black hole core to return, right? So the question is, how do I travel with this thing? I need to get the tower, quote unquote, of the sanctum. I don't even remember what it was called. To the North Pole, right? The North Pole here is blocked. So I need to make the moon travel first. That's probably the thing, TM, right? That definitely looks like a thing. Oh, so there we can see where we are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six locations. Is the six, sixth location the eye? What the f what the? So I'm assuming I need to close this, right? What is this? Ah, that turns on the light. Interesting. No, not not you. Recall the rule of the th the sixth location. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. So, quantum entanglement is, is I will move with a thing. And that is, I need to get it to the North Pole. So, Let's start traveling, right? Hmm. Let's first of all... Take a picture of this. So I don't accidentally lose it. Wait, which direction am I facing now? Exactly the wrong one. But I can't go there, apparently. No, 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 no! No, I can't go there. So I need to do one more travel. Well, I mean, not, not necessarily one more, but this is definitely wrong. No, no, no! Oh, crap! Why is this so sinister? Because it's quite annoying that I can't turn with a stick. Um, I have to do this. Do you look at that? That's the North Pole, right? They're just dust TM. Need to wait until the tower is there now. Oh, did I already crack this? I might have already cracked this. I'm at the North Pole. 
Holy poo poo. That would be fast if that's actually going to work. I should actually do this so I don't accidentally travel again. Because I can't travel like this, but I can travel like this. Nope. Oops, sorry. Haha. Uh -huh. Nice. Hello, Eye of the Universe. How are you tonight? I don't actually need to keep this in the, this place now, right? Can I find anything with... Come on. Can I grab that bloody scope, please? So there's no distress signal here. Pretty much. Well, that's just not going to work, right? No, that's just on the moon. So basically, that means there's nothing here that I can find using the signal scope, right? This is weird as fuck. Also, that seems to um, Corella straight towards the South Pole. Right? What the fuck is that? Is that an Omi? And still, what the fuck is that? Oh, if I jump out now, can I... Am I at the eye of the universe? Oh, unable to pinpoint location, can't open the map. That is bloody annoying. Hello there. Um... This mask is disorienting. Who are you? That doesn't really answer the question, lady. Wait, can I not? Oh! You identify. Is that how this works? It is. I am Solanum and Nomai. My clan arrived in this asset before my birth, and we now call it home. Do you? I'm on my first pilgrimage to the corner moon. All no may my clan make this journey when they when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the corner moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. What do you mean we can't reach it? The journey tends to be close to the eye. While the eye is pure from our side, we can see the corner moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Well, that's, that makes sense. So, can I do this or do I have to put this in the other thing many my clan I believe the eye called us off from particular purpose when I was a child I used to believe the eye was malevolent to have lured my clan to the star system only to then banish from them so completely but I don't fear the eye anymore in fact it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday 
but I fear this may be beyond, may beyond my reach. I may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Well, you've been here for quite a while, definitely, so um, I'm not, not sure. Also, you're not aware of the time loop, right? Just saying. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the Quanimus reflection of the eye. This closest. Wait, what? No, 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 I've already had that. Come on. Do not have connection, much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of this. Sure. There are floats about, lady. Um, okay, that's all with this. Oh, come on. So let's do this. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the corner moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around the star system. Okay. I know that much. There's fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. When the moon probably exhibits microscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye, shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. I wonder if I can actually enter that thing. Probably not, right? I wonder if I can actually get there, even. Imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant Steep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. Oh, that's the primary location. I guess this is where it comes from, right? And thus we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme, extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it's consciously observed. And what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? That's something we already had, right? In a different combination. Suppose you could reach the Earth universe, would you try to enter it? Do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? So if I do this, is that the same? Yes. Okay. So let's put that back. Um, let, let's do this in order, otherwise I'm going to get horribly confused. This is the quantum moon where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Yeah, I figured that much by now. Right? That's basically what I just said. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now while in the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural status as we see now, and that the eye is the primary location. Okay. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. Hmm. Reasonable, I guess. The quantum moon and its parts, for instance, are quantum, thus, the eye is likely also quantum. I agree. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. Hmm, possible. The same way the area surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum two. Did they though? 
Oh yeah, of course, because um, for example, in the glade, the trees bounce around, right? <clears throat> kind of hope to see your face, though. Is this your first time in the corner moon? It's my first time here. You can be looking for answers. I hope you find them. Never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire you for your eyes. Oh! I just realized something. She's really been here a long, 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 long time. Because the Nome have been gone for hundreds of thousands of years before the time loop actually started. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Do I, though? Imagine your purpose here is the same as mine to learn about and to find the Earth universe. Yes, yes, not I'm not sure how you arrived here. However, perhaps it came from another star system as my plan originally did. Well, no. Not much. Sorry, I had another coughing fit there. These are the two tenets of Nome philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Okay. So I guess that's all I can learn here, right? If this is the eye, what happens if I do this? Um, what the fuck? Um, um. So the eye of the universe is not only my head just exploded. So she's been dead for a long time, right? She's been lying here dead for a long time. It means the version of her on the corner moon is somehow frozen in time question mark. I guess. Also, holy shit, um, there's not a lot of space here I can actually go to. I'm literally trapped. So I need to either use this, but I want to use the ship now. Give me a ship, please. No, not that tower, the ship, please. I said not the tower, I said not the tower. <laughs> That's a tree. Can I get the ship, please? I want the ship now. Here, yeah, shippy shippy. Here, yeah, shippy shippy. Can I just not find the ship again? <sighs> That's my typical luck, right? There it is. So what happens if I do this? Nothing. What happens if I do this? Nothing. What happens if I do this? Wait! Oh! The Quantum Tower!
Oh yeah, that makes sense, right? That kind of makes sense, I would say. Right? Right. I think that makes sense. Is that the quantum tower? No, that's not the quantum tower. Well, I'm not handling this well. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. That's interesting, by the way. Is that the... Where even is the gravity cannon on Birtle Hollow? Again, my issue is that I can't meditate yet. Hmm. So let's restart real quick. Wait, no, 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 no. You belong... Hello? You don't belong there. No, you really don't belong there. Can you please... Please pop up where you belong. That would be great. Mm. That's better. So now I kind of want to go to Brittle Hollow because I'm not sure where the gravity cannon there is and what happens if I recall the ship. Do I get it back from the corner moon? Does nothing happen? Oh, I think I remember where the gravity cannon is. Um, so yeah, let's go to the gravity cannon on Brittle Hollow just to check what happens there. And then uh, we go to Gabo on Giant Sea. Those uh, meditate and stuff. Even though I was pretty sure I had talked uh, to him extensively, but apparently I didn't. The corner moon is solved, I guess. Yes, that, that looks solved. I was able to long land on the surface of the corner moon. Found it that no man is basically near the south pole. And that's right. I met a living nomad in Salonim, Salonim at the South Pole. The quantum moon is the Earth of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon became a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is like the dissolve of a microscopic quantum phenomenon in the solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if the conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solanum has a hypothesis. She may not be entirely alive. Well, we found her dead, didn't we? So that's definitely a thing. The may shrine that one is about the quantum moon. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. It's inscribed next to a mural of a, of a tower on an island. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. It's inscribed next to a mural of a quantum shard in a cave. Recall the rule of the sixth location. It's inscribed next to a mural of a tower hanging above a black hole. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, right? That's where we learned all these. So this is not done. This is where I got stuck last time too. There's something there that I apparently still have to scroll, uh, have to um, scan. And I've never been able to go to this location because that looks different from where I was. I have no idea what to do there. There has to be something I'm missing and I'm not sure what and I'm... Uh, th this close to just looking it up on the internet, honestly. Because this is bugging me to no avail that I still have a... There's more to explore here, Marker. Anyway... Also this. I don't get this one either. At all. Why is there more to explore? Grumble, grumble. Um, anyway.
Let's go to Brittle Hollow. We haven't been there in ages. Where are we going? Oh, there. I wish there was an indicator, like, the planet you're targeting is over there. And there is not. The fuck is this? Only oh, escape pod. I was like, that looks weird. But it's just this cape pod next to a line and it, it, it carved into the land. Um, so, gravity cannon. Where art thou? I actually have to look in the ship's log. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm reasonably sure I've been here. Bonk. Not my best landing, but um, the landing. Let me answer that real quick. Well, that was way too late for my kids to call me to say goodnight, but they did anyway. Uh, they're wondering. Um. It's not like anyone else would call me. So. Call the shuttle home. Um, where's the thing there? It's currently resting on the corner moon. So I... <clears throat> I could literally call this from the corner moon. I think I actually have done that, but I couldn't remember. Anyway, let's go to uh, Giant Sleep. Why does my flashlight automatically turn off? It's quite annoying. Oh, landing cam. Map. High end speed. Wee. There's not headlights off. Just needed to um scratch myself real quick. Um, there. Oh yeah, Sun Station, I need to do that again. Um, Sun Station, Ashton Project, Vessel. that island with a guy. Sorry, I have to um, yell because the storm is so loud. Not really, but, you know. That's the Bramble thing. That's the workshop thing. Wait, is it a Oh, I forgot about this. Um, I th think... Is this the right one? That might be the right one. Yes, that is the right one. Right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Long. I did put on my suit. That's good. And I'm still coughing like crazy.
No. Kind of wish I'd build a hammock here before we ended up in this time loop. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> oh, that's probably... Hmm. Did you stay so calm? Deep breaths? No. Seriously, I meditate. Oh, that's literally what I forgot. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Wait, does that literally reset the loop? <sighs> there was an unidentified thing in there, but that I hadn't resolved yet. So technically I need to go there again. But you know what, Sun Station first. Sun Station, then back to there for the unidentified signal, because... Well, I don't know, I don't know why, but um, if there's an unidentified signal, I need to resolve it right, otherwise there's going to be some unresolved log entry. Which is annoying the shit out of me. So I should probably fix that. Does that do anything on here? The answer is... Fuck no. Um, if I do this now... Meditate until next loop. Oh, okay, that's the, the law explanation. You just meditate and then the sun explodes. <laughs> um. I want to land on the thing, or try landing on the thing again. Mm. By the way, that I can be flung out of the sun station is not quite, um, not quite right, right? I guess it is, because, yeah, it is. It actually is, but that means that the sun station shouldn't lose structural integrity on the bridge. Instead, it should break in half in a lower part and a higher part, because the gravity on the lower part is way higher than on the lower part, which means if you're above um, median level, you should be flung off, and if you're below, you should fall into the sun. Um, which means the station should break apart along that axis, not the other. So now again we have to wait for the um, sun tower to show up. So I can actually know where it is. I just hold this. No, I have to repress. I thought I could maybe hold it down. But it doesn't work. Hmm. I guess I should go inside the sphere of influence, right? Plonk. And then, no idea, follow this giant vacuum thing. Oh no, I think I know how to reach the Ashwin project. Oh god. Okay, so the Ashwin project is inside this moon, right? But to reach it, we don't have to point at the inside of the moon. Well, technically yes. So, no. Let's start with the sun station, right? We don't have to point at the sun station, we have to point at the sun. To reach the other planets, we have to point at the planet. But, since this here is a binary, I remember it saying, yeah, you just um, have to point at the uh, barycenter, or center of mass, I don't know what they called it, but you know what I mean. 
So, there's a twin tower here for the Ash Twins. I've already used the Ember Twin, no, not for the Ash Twins, for the, what's the name of the thing? Hourglass Twins. <clears throat> I've already used the Ember Twin Tower, and that obviously teleports you to Ember Twin. But there's also an, an Ash Twin Tower. And while you can't make that point at the center of the Ash Twin for obvious reasons, it doesn't have to. It has to point at Ember Twin, or rather, technically at the barrier center of the two, which means effectively at the Ember Twin, right? And I don't think I've actually tried using that teleporter yet. I've only used the Ember Twin teleporter because for some reason I assumed it doesn't matter into what, which tower I step. But since then I have learned that each tower is in fact responsible for a single um, object, right? My planetary body. So, of course, the Ash Twin thing will be different or well, the Ash Twin Tower will be leading to a different location than the Ember Twin Tower. Because the Ash Twin is not the Ember Twin. Right? So I think I know how to reach the Ash Twin project yet. Uh, not yet, so now. I want to say now. I know how to reach it now. <clears throat> so I guess that's um, the next step then. One of the next steps. So I still need to return to Gabo? Garo? Oh, I still can't remember the bloody name. The guy on Giant's Deep. Oh, that's the Corner Moon, right? Yeah. Is it? Apparently it's not. What is it then? Giant's Deep? Has to be. Anyway. No, that's Giant's Deep. Uh, then there was something else, I guess. What? I did not hit this again. Why was my hand up here? Ooh, this is still disorienting as fuck. Um, can I please... Thanks. So let's concentrate on, uh, on the task at hand before we think about what to do next. Um, so I can't thrust up too much or I fly off. So how do I get over there then? Oh, just, just float, okay. Well, that was, um... Way too easy. <laughs> um... I guess there's more lore down there later. Mission. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. Oh. At least I don't like a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, idea. Uh, I like that guy's humor. Also, this, this music is awfully loud, isn't it? Thanks for just making me float away, game. That was great. Hey, that's a statue. Wait, is the third guy that's aware of the time loop up here, or down here, rather? Down the gravity well, right? Not up. Also, this orbit is disorienting as fuck with oh, the sun station rotating around itself or the parts of the station rotating around itself the station rotating around the sun at a disorienting pace all in all just quite disorienting so Wait, no.
Well, I can just press the. Um, I think I can just jump down there, right? Oh, okay, all that 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 works too. Holy boo boo! Sun of the universe. Oh, that's glass. Okay. Ash twin projection stone. We'll just put us back into the um, Ashwin project. Yes. Can I not? I can. I guess. So, just in there. Approximate time of the sun, so sun station is destroyed by expanding star. One minute, 58 seconds. What? Okay, I have to hurry. Approximate time of the star, 13 minutes, 28 seconds. Star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage, warning evacuate sun station. Um, okay, so let's um, hurry up a little. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yaro, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimal small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Turn to the ash twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change task would help. I uh, uh, noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Ooh. Oh. The comet arrived after them. Hi, I heard for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How's the idea? We're well, Yarrow, or as well as can be expected in the circumstances. I was disappointed. I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I just hoped the terrible work was finished. Oh well. <clears throat> I guess let's try to get out before the thing explodes, right? That sounds like a plan. No, not before this thing explodes, before it consumes this. Whoa! That was fast. Um, oh, I was like, how do I get out now? But I know how I get out. I use this door. This handy little door. <laughs> so let's test the um, Ash Twin Project theory, shall we? Um, but... Don't question which one's which. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? I used the wrong one, I can just go back. Oh, I've been in there, and I think I've taken that one. So the problem right now is, I have to wait for the... Um, for the giant space vacuum to come back, right? And then I have to step in while the giant space vacuum is... Uh, Sucking me here. <laughs> All like a better word. Hmm. Where are you, giant space vacuum? Going to daddy. Yeah, vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. Find hourglass, finger magic. I feel like I'll have to come back here later because it's getting a little late. Well, I have to come back here earlier, I mean. But I'm I can't hit the button that's over there at the computer. Oh, come on, that's taking way too long to uh, keep tilting my head up like this. God, that dow that dow out here, that, that takes a long time. It takes such a long time, I'm switching to German without noticing. Mid-sentence. 
Pokemon. And... It was that it's active for a couple of seconds after, right? Whoa! Yes! Haha! -ha. I'm in! <laughs> Meets the genius. Ten minutes until end of cycle transmission. Mask receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant speed memory stitch. Even Timber Hub's memory stitch. Oh! Of course! The third one is the probe tracking module. Of course! Yeah, because there was nobody at the sun station when the loop happened, right? So there was a statue there, but there was no way that would ever be activated. 13 minutes, 10, 0 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. 9 minutes, so it's... It's a 22 minute cycle? Yeah, apparently it's a 22 minute cycle. Interesting. I estimated 20, but apparently it's 22. No, not this one. I want this one. Mm, doesn't seem to be anything here. But there's definitely stuff I can translate, so let's do that. Today we finished the excavation of Ashton here in this space we carved. Okay, let me reorient myself in my place, please. We'll craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ashton project, powerful enough to send information back in time. We also finished relating all subterranean planets plants we met while digging. Oh, that's nice of you. We need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab, I still can't hardly believe Remy's hypothesis was true. Poggy just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ashtwin uh, can be connected with the giant's Deeworth. Greg Kassava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, and Beth Flux is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis, of course, uh, could have been forged past if Kassava had interrupted the work last. Oh, come on. Frequently to ask for updates. The important point is. Uh, we are all connected to Ash for now, and also that uh, I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends in Giants Deep test the orbital probe cannon today. Mello tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avens advocates for more launch power. Anyone can coax the maximum power from a device Avens can. Brian, if anyone can, uh, can goad a device into exploding, that too is like the Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mello, his love, will be one of the Nome aboard the cannon, or is uh, Mello part of the problem? The music has been getting awfully loud. Let me actually see if I can turn that down a little. Is that not scaling with the master volume? Yeah, apparently. When the Ashton project succeeds or in the event it fails, the memory stitches will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. My idea have worked hard on the sun station and it's at last complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power for the Ash uh, the power the Ashton project requires. Okay, that's why all the Nome are dead, because they couldn't force the sun to explode, which means the entire project only started up when the life cycle of the sun ended naturally, right? And by that point they were all gone. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude, this was the project's most difficult task, I mean, in more ways than one. We nearly ready to activate the Ashwin project. Here's what will happen first. The sun station will receive the order to fire the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Oh, we'll send the order 
back in time. It will not send the order to the probe cannon to fire back in time. <laughs> exactly 20 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. Oh, okay, so the first step is send the data back in time, then send the order back in time, okay. Totally, each cycle created by the Ashton project will last precisely 20 minutes. We can uh, end the cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we've ever been. The Ashton project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there's another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude of supernova still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. It is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on his natural timeline if you prefer idea, <laughs> but you'll need to find some way to hold our project progress. <laughs> I guess that's what ended up happening, right? We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has nearly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. Oh, did the comet kill them all? But how? It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine uh, what knowledge might be gained there. So the comet killed them all, but how? Um, there's three more things to read there. There's a statue there. That's the um, memory pool thingy. Um, and then there's... Let's read first, right? The new Sierra, the advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of warp Ashwin. Advanced warp core? I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashwin project is excited to see it by besides herself with a joy. No, it isn't. No, the warp core isn't ready. Is everything well at the forge? The cost of your ability could still be improved. I need more time. Perfectionist. No oh, hurry, Yarrow. The course is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Pokey is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oni. Oh no? Oh no! Oh yeah, that's the guy we called Oh no, right? This all should uh, be the last we need for the Ashwin project. Once we finish uh, the shell that seals off the potential chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Graham and I will be checking the interior and the next year if it cracks up and set to check. This exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? When my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better as the smallest for opening this shell that protects the Ashwin project lead to disaster. See, that's something I don't get. Um... Give me a second, sorry. So that's a thing I don't get. Why does it have to be a perfect shell? I mean, technically the thing was designed to last for 22 minutes, right? It doesn't have to last hundreds of thousands of years like it did. It wasn't planned to at least. Install the mask inside the Ashwin project uh, flocks. They look beautiful, although I feel as though I'm being observed. How many do know the statue will uh, not pay until the project succeeds? Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Uh, ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashwin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Yeah, because time just loops, right? I hadn't thought of that. It would probably be a horrific fate that would be. I guess you guys got spared that fate, but we guys didn't for like 900,000 times or whatever that was. It's such an interesting architecture. What the fuck is this? Artificial gravity control. Hmm? Oh. Oopsie. 
That's something I want to do. Oh, no, 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 Crap. I accidentally activated it again. Fuck me. I am so dead. I can't boost. Because I boosted and haven't landed again. Holy fuck me. Yes, 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 yes. No. Oh. Can I please get on somewhere? Like anywhere. Fuck me. I fuck up. Do I actually have to return here now? How did I manage to fuck this up? Holy shit. That takes some special kind of genius. No, oh, no, no, no. Just let me get away from this thing for a second, please. Holy shit, I messed this up. Why am I being pulled back into this? I give up. I officially give up.